Hello. This video is how to configure an Android device to run applications in Ubuntu with Eclipse. The outcomes for this video would be to configure an Android device to accept apps and enable USB debugging, write a UDEV rule so Eclipse can identify the device and use it, set up a run configuration on a simple Hello World program to use the Android device, and open the Eclipse Dalvik Debug Monitor Server DDMS perspective in Eclipse. And finally, use screen capture from DDMS to verify that the Hello World application is running on device. Requirements would be an Android device connected through USB to an Ubuntu desktop. And this demonstration used an Ubuntu 12.04 desktop guest, which is a virtual machine. An Eclipse Java IDE, Android SDK, and Android ADT installed on your desktop. Additional info is setting up hardware devices from developerandroid.com. It's a Google site. And then I've got a video that shows how to install, configure almost any USB device if you need some further information. And a disclaimer, while I have researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. This video is about how to uh, configure a hardware device, phone, Android phone, to run your apps. And it's basically done in screenshots. Now, there's some general rules here. If it's uh, to get to get the device to accept your apps, if it's Android 4.1 or before, use the open settings and then the, go to the applications menu and then click on unknown sources there. And if it's Android 4.2 or higher, it's uh, settings and then security. That should get you to the unknown source. To enable USB debugging, because you're going to need to debug your app, is uh, before Android 4.0, it's settings, applications, development to allow USB debugging. Android 4.0 and 4.1, it's settings and then developer. And Android 4.2, it's settings, about tablet, phone, and then you have to press build seven times, or I'm sorry, you have to press the build number seven times, and then settings, developer, USB debugging. And so next thing I'm just going to have, uh, if you have an older phone laying around, this is an example I used on a Motorola Droid Pro running Android 2.3.4. So I opened the menu, then I clicked on settings. When the settings menu pops up, I would scroll down. And as you scroll down, when you get to the applications menu, click on applications. When the application settings menu pops up, click on the unknown sources checkbox. Alert dialog pops up and then just click OK. And so now it should show a green background behind the check. And now we scroll down the application settings menu and click on development. And enable USB debugging by making sure that the green background is checked. Another warning alert dialog will pop up. Now I can't show this because the screen capture only works with USB debugging is enabled. So I'm unable to show the original grade out background, but it's similar to what was before. Here I have an Android device. It's recognized by Ubuntu, but it's not recognized in Eclipse, but it needs an identity. A way to fix this so that the device will run a program, so that Eclipse will run an Android program, using this device is to go to the Google website developer.android.com toolsdevice.html and if you read down here what you're going to have to do is create a file etc udev rules d51 android rules so I'm just going to copy this without the period right click copy open up a terminal and I'm going to open up a text editor called Vim if you want to get this text editor it's sudo app get install Vim right click paste 
and after the password opens up an empty file and I'm gonna I for insert and what I'm gonna do is add a comment Android rules so Eclipse can recognize Android device and what I'm going to do is go right here and actually copy the second line here including the quotes copy go back to my terminal hit paste now it says we're the ID vendor we're going to have to change that and in my case I'm using a Motorola phone and you got the USB vendor IDs other and I go to Motorola there's 22 B8 I can copy or I can key it in get back to my terminal and then simply erase that right click paste again and there it is now I'm going to hit escape colon W Q for right quit in the bottom left hand corner hit enter so let's just close everything here and I'm going to close that I'm going to file exit cancel here I guess I had another instant of Eclipse open open up the terminal again and sudo reboot here I've restarted Ubuntu double check and make sure that my phone is checked right here because I'm using a virtual machine instead of a hardware computer and if I go to USB devices this time you'll see it's checked so it should show up I'm going to cancel this now when I start Eclipse I should see it in Eclipse accept the default workspace and here we are you can see now that I, I've got a device here not the question marks but I'm going to go back to the Java perspective for a second and the program right here is Hello Andy World right click here and I'm going to go to run as and click on run configurations and one thing I like to do when it comes to target I like to always prompt to pick a device once this is chosen I click run or I could simply go back to here and right click and say run as and and here it says choose a running device that's the Motorola phone that set up before click OK and now I'm going to go to the DDMS perspective and it's picking up something else here also but I'm just going to go to the phone installing the program hello Andy world uploading installing and now it's starting the intent so once that's done I can go right here and do a screen capture and see what's on the screen and there it is hello Android world and this is actually what's showing on the phone so that's how you set up an Android device with Eclipse thank you